I'm going to interject my opinion. Don't name your child Adolf ever. Uh, That's been ruined. That's tarnished for the rest of human history. Your daughter. Now, this is prior to World War II, but... It I doesn't matter. They should have had the foresight to know known. not to yeah, do that. No, they should have seen the fugitive. This was a palm tree, which is not what I asked for. Matt. <laughs> Matt. Uh, welcome, welcome to All Topics, No Pizza. The, the show <laughs> where Matt coach. just announces the things he finds on his search. It actually means green, guys. We are done with the podcast. This is just me and my Google search. Did I ask you? No, but I'm interjecting anyway, because <laughs> fuck you. Because I am also Matt, known as Ruminous. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Remember, we are all the same. We are, we are one. all the same guy. We are one, changed. and you <laughs> are rendered <laughs> obsolete. Welcome to All Topics No Pizza, the series where we start with three different hosts and somehow wind up with three clones of the same guy. I'm Matt, also known as Ruminous. I'm Matt, also known as Ruminous. And I'm Matt, also known as Ruminous, or my Dirk McGurkin, or Jerk McGurkin, or I don't know anymore. It's my turn to do the bit, and my bit is time for a full lesson on Latin Roman mythology. And this no, time that's we're not talking about we're talking about my quite, favorite I, subject. My favorite subject is the fact head. that I still edit these no matter who's actually <laughs> hosting it because I am all powerful. Uh, Nick, go ahead. I have my Nick, I actually didn't plan a bit, so go ahead. Please, please, save me. Save me. Save me, Nick. Nick, save me. Nick. <laughs> Today we are talking about my favorite subject, the shape of my face. Now, <laughs> Matt too. What do you think about the shape of my face? <laughs> I have to edit that in. That was fucking hysterical. I was like thinking on this all day. I was like, all right, should I do this? Should I do this bit? Should I, should I co-opt this and somehow start the show with three ruminants? It worked out perfectly. Thank you, Dion. That was wonderfully executed. Sure. You gotta give me more heads up than that next time. Oh, uh, yeah, just, yeah. I was just dreading. <laughs> I was just dreading so many things. He, he privately messaged me real quick right before we started. Like, yeah, I heard that. Hey. <laughs> damn it. Damn it. You where you heard him typing and it's in the message. Yeah, yeah I heard I heard the you message. He always hear it. He always hears it. <laughs> I even wrote the whole damn thing out on a notepad so I wouldn't forget my lines. Oh, that's super great. Oh, it's super great. You know, you oh, think yeah. that Nick I'm isn't just... professional, but he is professional. He's just ADHD. He's just he's just all over the yeah, place. Yeah, I'm just weirdly professional. I'm, ju- I'm, I'm just glad it was easy to follow. That was dreading that it was going to be like some complicated joke and it was going to require more improv than I had prepped. And I'm just like, no, I'm not no, ready no. For it. I kind of, I oh, wish, I wish I had no Matt... warning. <laughs> no, you didn't get any more warning. You didn't need the warning. You you played it off perfectly. Actu- out of utter confusion. Actually, I had, because you mentioned that you want to go first, I had thought of a bit and I was like oh I'm not gonna do that and then I immediately forgot the bit and I was like oh shit I'm gonna stay through this and I couldn't remember what it was <laughs> oh wonderful no that's magnificent well today is a glorious day because it's sort of well we are out... all ruminous and today it is a great day well, and and in in the in the in the spirit of ruminous I've sort of figured out what I think what I think you guys need from me out of this podcast and it is my propensity for the. You're gonna edit of the some sp- of these podcasts, so I don't have to do no, so much work. No, Matt, it's oh. not work. It's what not was effort. I thinking? I was an idiot. Oh, what was I? Th- <laughs> my God, my stupid ass. <laughs> see, see, this is the thing. I think you need out of me, not what you do need out of me. Oh, this Keep is up, actually Matt. This is a very important distinction. I, I, that is actually my bad. That was 100 percent actually <laughs> full reality. My bad. So jazz has been banned in New Orleans since 1920. Well, New Orleans schools since 19. 19- 22 but why though uh, so what did, it has what did jazz it, do 
So it hasn't, but it has. Well, again, this is where I had to jump down the rabbit hole and kind of understand it. Because when I told Dion this, Dion, what was your response? No, it's not. Um, <laughs> and verbatim. That was, that was actually the response of the people on the school board. When they found out that it was not it was banned in their school system, they're like, um, <laughs> n- no, it's not. I don't know if you've Be- been to NOLA before you brought up this ridiculous <laughs> charge, but it's not banned. Trust uh, me. Uh, well, in fact. Yes, it is. A writer named Al Kennedy, who I tried to look up. I couldn't find any pictures of him. Kennedy? But I, I'm going I'm to make some assumptions later that, Dion, I think you'll agree with. That's Al, Kennedy, Al Kennedy found in their records that there had actually been a school-wide ban on jazz dancing and music. But that why, was completely though? passed without fuss. Now, this was news to people on the school board when Mr. Kennedy released his book. So they went and did a little snooping and found that he was entirely correct. Since 1922, there had been a ban on jazz music and jazz dancing after a school board discussion happened that caused a vote. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read you a little bit of information about this. So this... Article comes to us from NOLA.com. According to reports from the time, a school board member identified as, and you're going to love this, Miss Adolf Baumgartner wow. interject, a, interjected her thoughts on jazz during an unrelated I'm gonna school board discussion. I'm going to interject my opinion. Don't name your child Adolf ever. <laughs> I, That's been ruined. That's tarnished your, for the your, rest of human history. Your daughter. Now, this is prior to World War II, but... It I doesn't matter. They should have had the foresight to know known. not to yeah, do that. No, they should have seen the future. You know, they should have done the spice, seen the future. God uh, damn it. <laughs> uh, so uh, during an unrelated school board discussion on March 24th, Miss Adolf is quoted as saying, jazz music and jazz dancing in schools. Hold on. I got to do a voice. Um, ooh, ooh. You don't. You don't. You don't. The flute jazz button is ready. music don't and worry. jazz dancing in school should be stopped at once. Bob I'm fine with this. This is good. On finances. I've seen a lot of rough dancing in school auditoriums lately. Oh, back Percy, in my day. Percy H. Moyes asked, Ma'am, what is jazz? <laughs> uh, <laughs> a third member, Henry C. Schaumberg, responded, <laughs> I've seen a little bit of it, but it was awful. The children have no business engaging in such dancing. The motion to ban jazz music and dancing in school passed with Moyes abstaining. But this is uh, Al Kennedy's uh, statement on why it was done. Kennedy I'm said, "I'm sure that's going to be great." Kennedy said the ban was likely school board reacting to the fears of the day. Think of it as an early version of the book ban. He said it seems like they were more afraid of it being a bad influence than anything else. So Dion. Which book? What what color do we think uh, Mr. Kennedy is? Because I uh, that statement right there kind of so- solidified something in my head. Matt, what color yeah. do you think? I'm going to go with turquoise. Mm-hmm. It's a good color. I-, I love turquoise. I'm going to legitimately I, guess No, I just white. have no idea. Ooh, 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 I, I want to change my answer. The answer is he was palm colored. He's palm colored, pink. Yeah. So there's, there's more to be read they're they're planning to get rid of the ban on its 100th anniversary which was a few days ago palms are different colored shut up no, I'm, they're not. I'm, I'm looking at palms right now they're I, y'all are racist <laughs> <laughs> it's like saying eye colored like that's just there's, there's a range of colors i don't know man most palms i see are pretty fucking pink i did a certain <laughs> search on the internet and there's a lot of palms right now and they're different colors right Matt. now I think I think we do need to to rein your searches on the internet in. Every time you like go for a search, I'm so f- worried you're gonna just end up in the zones of the internet that you now, this one don't is have the constitution for. I don't know how that happened. This one is turquoise, and um, like Matt's Nick, gonna end up watching Nick, two girls, one cop, one day. Nick, um, you're correct. I need to, I need to rein in my searches because this one's turquoise. That is not a human color. Uh, I'm very scared. This was a palm tree, which is not what I asked for. Matt. <laughs> Matt. Uh, welcome, welcome this one, all this one is the stereotypical <laughs> Italian. The show where Matt question. just announces the things he finds on his search. It actually means generator. green, guys. We are done with the podcast. This is just me and my Google search. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to watch that. This is just dinosaurs. <laughs> but you know who does want to watch that? It's our government. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. I want to talk about how there's a cool to warm color chart with the Italian... Like, stereotypical, like, I don't know what we would call that, but the hand sign. 
card. This one's just a gun. No, it's a very, it's a very specific grouping. Of fingers <laughs> what now. happened? All right. What it is. All right, Matt. You know what? We're turning safe search on. <laughs> but you know what is illegal? Stealing Murder. a seventy-ton crane. Mom was better. Suspect in Chilton County. I, think, I Alabama. don't care about this. Where's the murder? Suspect in Chilton County, Alabama, was arrested uh, on the 21st of March. Uh, Case closed. After, What's next? After having been caught with a stolen 70 ton military crane. How did he get that? What? That's a lot of tons. What did they leave the keys in the ignition? The owner <laughs> of the towing service that contacted Chilton's County on Monday that, that stopped the guy because he, I believe he wrecked it. Yeah. He wrecked it. How the uh, fuck he, do you wreck a 70 ton? He, so, That's more um, than the I'll, earth. I'll, I'll, I'll send you the picture. I'll send the picture. It's, in the, it's like in a ditch. He like drove it into a ditch. Okay, but my question um, is how did you get caught? Because uh, he called sense. a tow service to get it out of the ditch. I... Dumbass. <laughs> so it does you thinking? Calls, so a tow service calls Chilton County Sheriff's Office on Monday saying a man claimed that someone gave him the crane and he wanted it okay so he wanted it removed so he could sell it for scrap so that's why he got caught the towing operator then called law enforcement the man who wanted the crane moved fled before officers arrived driving a rig into a ditch where it became stuck hence the picture i've just shown <laughs> he's 26 year old man was arrested the next day on probation violation oh and first gosh. degree theft charges uh, <laughs> they don't include a name, which sucks. Only, I really would like to know who's first of all. only one. supposed to commit one crime at a time. Uh, <laughs> uh, the it's county the sheriff, sheriff said, we have worked a lot of theft cases over years, but this one definitely takes first place in the heavyweights category. Wow. Thank you for your uh, humor uh, in this uh, time. Uh, yeah, uh, sir, thank you for this humor. I'd like to know, how the fuck did this man get this thing? It's clearly of military make, even if it wasn't in military use at the time. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I've, I've talked with a lot of people from the military. Oh, they sell their shit off crazy t cheap. Because their shit's I, crazy I would, broke. I was going to say that at the smartest bulbs in the bunch, because mm. they're often 18 and just kind of... Uh, listen, left man. In the, in the cabin. Yeah. <laughs> or the door was left unlocked, and it's not that hard to hotwire. This thing looks like it runs on a pretty simple engine. Well, actually, no. What? Yeah, 70 tons? Okay, that's obviously an exaggeration. I mean, it works All right, on Dion. All right, so it you got a challenge. It works on military technology. Dion, I got so a challenge for you. Go steal a crane and see how easy it is to operate. It, it works on military technology, so I imagine it probably hasn't been updated since the 70s. It probably runs um, on DDoS. Diesel. Yeah. <laughs> well, it probably doesn't have an it, operating it probably, system. It runs on it diesel. Hamps is hamsters. Cool. It probably has hamsters in the wheels. <laughs> Is is definitely Horse and buggy. manual. Is definitely manual and definitely has like ninety three gears. Not to mention the crane shaft. Not controls. to mention four pedestals or four pedals at the bottom. <laughs> to quote, no. to quote, red versus blue. And, and the clutch Why is in the are trunk there eight pedals reason? if there are only six directions? <laughs> <laughs> if I was like, twenty six and in college and I had the opportunity to steal a military crane. I convinced somebody to do it with me. Oh, like, I would absolutely to... steal a military crane, but I wouldn't call a tow company <laughs> to be like, hey, man, this stolen vehicle that is clearly stolen because it's military equipment, I um, I done goofed and crashed it. I need you to come help me because that's going to just leave it. It's in the ditch. It's gone. Someone's going to find it. Leave it alone. So part of me wants to believe that this was some military individual who just like was drunk, got uh, tricked into a military personnel being drunk, not beating his wife. Amazing. All right, I took it. I, that was that went dark. Like the moon, there was no moon there. That was it was pure black. It was there was no moon. Of it was no all moon. darkness. It, we 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 colonized the moon, Matt. Matt, it's USA two now. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I see a white flag. I see it surrendered. Yeah, a white flag, Matt. USA too. Why do you think Electric Boogaloo? <laughs> uh, uh, the racist white. I don't care how uh, old that joke is. It'll never not be funny. It'll yeah, it will so. always be funny to me. I don't give a shit who you are. You're like, That's not funny anymore. But fuck you. Stop listening to our podcast. It's the funniest it's, shit in the world. It's funnier the worse it is. Like it's oh yeah, I'm gonna watch uh, Get Out too. Electric Boogaloo. It doesn't matter. Just add Electric Boogaloo to a sequel, and it's not even I, good. I'm comedy. not gonna lie. If it's Get like, Out oh, Two was the, named Get Out is, Two Electric Boogaloo, I'd be like Jordan <laughs> Peele. What have you just honestly, fucking done? Honestly, he might. <laughs> I die like uh, no psychological boogaloo. That'd be much better. 
Just to ruin the joke. I would yeah. love it. He was like, I'm going to ruin this joke for everybody so that nobody ever says it again. The joke is already ruined. It's been running to the ground, but it's still hilarious because that is how life works. And if you disagree, that's on you. Maybe subscribe to Patreon and then you can tell us how wrong we are. That's fine. I'll, I won't read what you say, but I'll take your money. I will ignore everything you tell me is correct and continue to believe what I choose. Also, how did you do that? I, I don't know. Maybe maybe they're really hard to control. I don't know, because 70 tons is selling a lot. But this is a <laughs> straight first, road. If my first hand experience with Metal Gear Solid 5 controls oh, okay. of, of military Solid technology one. <laughs> is anything to go off of, uh, it is I'm not fucking suck. <laughs> so I can imagine the turning radius on this thing is probably. What are you it turning? Turns once per it hour. is a straight road. You know what? Maybe maybe it was like super sensitive. Maybe it has a super sensitive wheel. Maybe he like turned it just by like a hair and it just swerved <laughs> off the road. You what know. what is the uh the power the power driving and uh, the power turning yeah, actually, of this thing? I don't understand how he got it stuck in a ditch. He was See, running away. Dion Dia understands. I'm, I'm Dion's with this. The ditch is pretty deep, like I can tell because the that, entire, that the part I understand. Is, how you got it there is beyond me. Yeah, because I'm pretty positive he dug it in with trying to get it out. Yeah, it must be it. Because there's no way those wheels don't just boost that bitch out of there. Yeah, no. I'm pretty positive he ran the wheels and the wheels just started digging through the dirt because of how heavy 85, it was. 85 tons is a lot, man. I don't know. 70. Billion tons, uh, yes. That's what I said. Well, in doing I'm gaslighting in, you, by the way, again. I'm going to go in ahead and In gaslighting, Matt, in news of gaslighting. In news of gaslighting, what's the question for the week? Hold on. Do I still got time? I think I still got time for one more story. I got well, I got time for one you more spe story. This speed run this shit, man, because we we're getting close. Uh, Doa Qatar. This is from the AP Newswire. Doa Qatar. Uh, hospital. Top-notch hospital. Uh, is refusing uh, admission of other patients. Um... Because awesome. They're What's the question? Because they're full of umber. <laughs> what? Full Hold of umber. I I I'm sorry. The the connection's really bad over here. What did you say? Full of umber. Oh, okay. No, you did say that correctly. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, so the hospital in Qatar is apparently doing work exclusively on falcons at the moment. <laughs> I retract uh, my statement because everything. Okay, at this point, everything so longer makes sense. across. I don't understand uh, it, but it makes sense. Longer viewed across the Avian or the Arabian Peninsula, the Avian Peninsula, of course, the Arabian Peninsula. <coughs> Falcons serve as like a status symbol, and that makes sense because they are <laughs> extreme predators. If I could, the, if uh, I could control a falcon to land on my arm and to go fetch, I don't know, things that used to be alive, <clears throat> I would. Yeah, I, yeah, that's a status symbol. If I could so control a falcon to land on my shoulder and just be intimidating, I absolutely would. All right, if I and, and, and all the better, my and, ass. and all the better that I have to wear armor to do it. Like, yeah, I'm gonna put on a gauntlet. I'm gonna put on some dope ass shoulder pads. I'm gonna be like, I don't know, you know, bird call and put my hand in the air and <laughs> summon a. If I could summon a falcon, yeah, I, I'm more powerful than you. That's a status symbol for sure. <laughs> that make, that's a status uh, symbol that well, makes sense. And, and apparently, it's a pretty common status symbol. Not common that would defeat the purpose of a status symbol. But it's a it's a well regarded status symbol in uh in in Qatar. Yeah, you get into an argument and then they walk outside and, and they so summon a falcon. Just a falcon lands on their shoulder. You're like, oh, <laughs> you what, you what, you what are you gonna do? 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 They didn't huh? just huh? pull a huh? gun. Huh? Huh? A huh? wild huh? animal showed up and backed them up. These wild? two, no, this they, we is are trained. not the same. This is the domestic falcon. It will beat your ass. It will fly out of the sky and punch you with its foot. Like, and also, read me bedtime stories because it loves me, but it hates you. Like even so even if it was like oh, yeah I could take this dude the <laughs> fact that he owns a like can summon a falcon I don't want to fight him anymore let alone the falcon <laughs> he has one falcon that I know of maybe he has ten falcons that I don't know of <laughs> you never know so so it's it's not uncommon for hospitals in the area to to you know do a couple not on surgeries or radi uh, or or X rays on the birds per year I guess from what I'm reading the level of precision and work that goes into maintaining the falcons it, it's it's just better for it to go through actual doctors <laughs> it seems but Whoa, more so do some specifically veterinarians are not one. doctors goodbye veterinarian yeah, dollars you, can, you know what veterinarians hold on that's all Nick don't. I will take your money, veterinarians. I love you uh, very much. So, take care of my so, cat, please. Uh, just uh, I, not. Matt, make... would you like a question today? I gotta get through this. Well, if you would hurry up, I tried to get a question uh -huh. three minutes ago. Now I have I have to interrupt you because it's funny. Roughly thirty thousand a year is about how many hawks go through public hospitals, but the the hospital that is spoken of in this article 
That's about 150 a day. So imagine that's, that's walking a into a hospital. Hawkins. This is a, this is a hospital called a, a day. Yeah, a day. I know I'm lagging behind a little bit, guys. Excuse me. A day, 150. <laughs> 150 a day. But I just I, I just found that really interesting that birds, uh, specifically falcons, go to medical doctors in Qatar. No, no. Do they go often enough? So 100. So so there's not an infinite number of birds. There's um, not an infinite number of birds. So 150 and an a day. Number of typewriters. Are you um, sure? There's so 150 a day. Have you calculated how many birds there are? Divided by whatever the population of birds is, in, they, they have to be some repeat birds within the month. Are well, are they? Do they do it often enough that when the birds feel bad, they come in on their own? Uh, I don't imagine because these are still these are still wild animals. Well, no, they're still they're still tamed. They still have owners. Um, these are oh, these are okay. house falcons. These are owned by people. Oh, okay. um, so I can imagine you know. Uh, I think they're partners with people. It. I'm this not sure it. if falcons are owned by anybody. <laughs> I don't know. If it's you're like a lion or a tiger. If, like that tiger is not your pet. Pedicure, it is a cohabitant. Again, I think if you're taking your falcon to get a pedicure, I don't know. <laughs> uh, that falcon just wants to be fabulous. I mean, that's different. Also, you can give them feather so what you So what you're saying is if I buy a pedicure oh, for my girlfriend, I own her? Uh, Nick? Well, in that case, because she's sentient, well, she, because she's self-aware, she owns you. That's what he was saying. It's oh. like a cat. Cats are the only other sentient uh, creature on the planet. The Egyptians self worship them for a reason. Self, self-aware planet. Excuse self-aware you? Planet. <laughs> Dolphins, nope, not self-aware. Pigs? Hey. Nope, not self-aware. Okay, Only cats. Right. And apparently falcons. Uh, pigs are very smart, actually. Pigs are smart, but not self-aware. Yeah. Only cats and apparently falcons. Are you so, sure about so, 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 so pigs are markedly proven more self-aware than cats and dogs. Mm-hmm. And delicious. More than cats and dogs. Hey man, you don't hey, know hey, that. Dion. Hey Dion, what uh, what what's what which which animal has an entire society's culture based around it? Pigs. We, what? Uh, America. Where? Where? Uh, it's not. That's beef, buddy. That's beef, buddy. What are you fucking talking about? Bacon. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know. Last time you checked, but we are. Um, th- this is a pig state. I'm sorry, police state. <laughs> so oh, we. Are. That's, that's different. That's different. Oh, that was Literally. hilarious. All right. Dude. I, under- so, I understood you were going for there, but that's not the kind of pig I'm talking about. Mm. Also, they're not self-aware either. <laughs> I'll give you that one. <laughs> All right. I think I have my question then. If you could give one animal species full self-awareness to the point where they start developing their own societies, I will inevitably begin to compete in the ever crippling race for domination and supremacy that we all take pandas pandas oh man because they're so stupid i want to see how different it is rude <laughs> it's not even that they're stupid that they're was just fucking no rude. they're they're really really do- oh, no, no, oh, oh no no i'm sorry i take that back you think that's of koalas. not what i meant i'm thinking of koalas i i, I pick koalas I like, what the fuck? Say, pandas the pandas fucking, are very fucking, <laughs> sorry respawn rate, rate on pandas. pandas respawn rate on pandas though it's terrible come on man that's yeah, that, that's, right. that's laziness that's not stupidity that's just laziness they just don't give a fuck Fair. enough to reproduce look man it's hard to but they love it's, bamboo it's, it's, and they just they just want to chill man they just want to hang wanna, out and be fine i want to i want to see how much does it change um when when koalas figure out how like dumb they are and they're just like eh, it's fine I'll just die. You know what? No, after you, I take I take my answer back again. I'm not giving no. self awareness to any other animal. That's just you're gonna make you're just gonna turn a bunch of animals suicidal. No, you're gonna turn a bunch of animals into a bunch of humans. It's suicidal. Mm, fair. It depends if they develop capitalism or not. Yeah. Okay. Suicidal. <laughs> they will become humans, and humans are capitalist, and humans are also suicidal. Wait, wait, Therefore, wait, hold on, capitalism hold on. equals suicide. Just, you just did you say us, humans are naturally capitalists? You just you just asked us to pick. <laughs> aside in animal farm. <laughs> great. Oh, great. He's not wrong. But uh, great. Hey, do you have two feet or do you have four? <laughs> which is and it was just hilarious because it's also supposed to be a communism and then it quickly turns into capitalism. It quickly turned into exactly our society. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hate that book. I hate that book so much. Also, if you do this, we lose being top end. Like the only thing we have on animals is this. That that's the first thing that happens is that humanity gets wiped off the planet. You give this to anybody. We'll be deemed a danger by our own. Now hold on. Goldfish. Mm. Because I'm a sick fuck and I would love to see goldfish be like, this is my life. Just sit in this bowl and eventually be starved to death and or shaken to death by this fucking idiot of a human that can't even take care of a plant. That is that is truly fucked. So goldfish can actually get as get as big as is necessary to survive in their habitat. Yeah, you get um, really big. 
So yeah, they would be, it. they would punch uh, the shit of a shark so, if they could. So we'd, we'd get an ocean goldfish, give it sentience, it'd probably grow a little bit, which immediately takes care of its... You thought the megalodon was a shark? <laughs> the megalodon is a giant <laughs> goldfish, guys. Oh my god, I want that rewrite of the Meg. It's just Jason Statham standing on a raft. Someone's like, is that the shark? And all of a sudden, Jason Statham just looks out and he goes... That's no shark. That's a goldfish. I just fucking wall-eyed goldfish just crests the water. Their stupid ass floaty device gets pushed out. <laughs> One of its massive, awful eyes just like narrows on them. No teeth. It's not frightening at all. Just like the Meg. I love this theory now, Matt. We're, we're, we're making this. We're, we're selling I'm the script this. to Hollywood. Where's the... Uh, we're sci-fi? Sci-fi. You told me that before that you would accept any script whatsoever. Uh, here we go. So long as we put what's her face in it, Ter 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 Reed. Ter Reed, yes. Yeah. Listen, I whatever. I'm fine. <laughs> I'll work with Ter Reed. It's not Tara Strong, but I'll work with Ter Reed. Obviously, apes, sim simians, gorillas, out all of the that question. stuff. Out of question. We already know how that happens. But it's are already cute. happening. As is, we're we're just gonna let that happen through time. They'll take over where we fuck up. I believe there's a whole set of movies up. about that. So extrapolating a little further, I would consider ants. Ants would be Fuck ants. interesting, um, but that's we, my problem. We couldn't win a ants, war against ants. Yeah, if if we're doing Dia this, knows my problem with ants, and I will go bananas. If we're doing this human brain way, ants have to get big enough to support a human brain, which functionally means they'd also, uh, they would not. They would also, I don't think, <laughs> yeah. I think, I, think, I think they wouldn't because of. Um, well, no, because the exoskeleton would yeah, just, fucking just, burst. Just give them hive mind, and you just need one queen oh, ant to you be know big what? enough. Underground. I if, hate if, all if of If a you. hive became a human mind, right? A please singular stop. hive please, form. Please do not give them ideas. Thank you for listening to All Topics No Pizza. I am Tim Burton. I have been Matt, also known as Ruminous. Guys. I've been Matt, also known as Ruminous. Jesus Christ, finally. And I am Matt, also known as Dr. Frankenstein's Monster. And Good we, night, everybody. And we and are Matt, <laughs> also known as Ruminous. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for listening. We started with impersonation and ended up with the sentience of animals, and we, just like you guys, have no idea we got there either. We hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you next time. If you want to support us with your Patreon page, I, Ruminous, will upload to YouTube, and I've also published two books. You can support us that way as well, if you'd like. So, a, 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 a uh, curry place called The Secret of Siam. Primary um, uh, number of... Jesus, my words are all over the place. The, the, pro, the, a lot of the people, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm like having a bad time. With my words are, right are you drunk? What's going on here? I know, right? Hold on. Let me, let me reformulate the words. I'm drunk and so, I can podcast. Let's go. 